is Alan McInnes, Artistic Director of Young People's Theatre. I'm working from home, and I imagine many of you are too. I have a dog that wants to sit on my lap while I work, but I imagine many of you have young people who are running out of things to do. So our terrific people in education and participation at YPT have come up with a whole list of games that we can demonstrate for you uh, to keep your young people occupied and having a good time. Here's Liz Pounsett, our drama school director, to tell you all about them. Hi everybody, my name's Liz Pounsett and I'm the drama school director at Young People's Theatre. Welcome to Inside with Imagination. We've started this project uh, to create some resources for families who are inside taking care, being healthy um, for the next little while. Uh, so we hope you enjoy. Um, so the game that we're going to play today is called Fortunately Unfortunately. And the way this game works is, as a group, you tell a story that has a series of twists and turns. So I've got my family with me here today and we are going to show you an example of how this works. So I will begin the story. Um, one day I was walking down the street. No, you have to show them. <laughs> And you can act it out as Henry has suggested, but we're gonna just sit and tell the story for now. One day I was walking down the street and I saw the most adorable dog. Um unfortunately. Okay, Henry, can you say unfortunately? Unfortunately, that was a dog. Fortunately, the dog was barking at a bird, not you. Unfortunately, I am really alarmed by dogs, so I jumped up on a fence and couldn't get down off the fence. Fortunately, the person who was walking the dog was a gymnast and knew how to climb up the fence and carry me down safely and I was able to continue with my walk and enjoy a beautiful day. So that is a little example of how you can play fortunately, woo, unfortunately with your entire family, even when they're on your lap. Uh, so we hope you have a great day and we'll be back with more don't, games don't, soon. Don't.